I want to say I was around 16 the first time I seen who I refer to now as the shadow man. I had a dream I was walking through my grandparents old house when I just see long black skinny fingers wrapping around the door frame. I remember waking up and turning on my lamp to see nothing and that was the first time I can remember seeing and part of it and not just feeling like I was being watched. Years passed and while I did have more dreams about the said shadow man it was always the same. I was in my grandparents old house and it was always the same doorway I would see the long black fingers wrapping around the doorway and I would wake up I started trying to research and even asked a few people I trust for advice because whatever this was it had begun to feel more sinister and not just a vivid dream I mean I'd been dreaming the same dream for years now I wanted it to stop and I was trying to find anything to just make it go away the dreams kept coming regular but I could always push them away try and think of something different just to go back to sleep if I even could. One day about five years ago my baby sister sent me a message and told me her cat had kittens. I had been wanting a cat and I had read that cats are good at keeping positive energy in a home while protecting you from the bad energy. I went to look at the babies and right away I picked out the most rowdy one of the bunch, a little tuxedo cat. She ran to me and right off the bat we hit it off. I took her home and she became my best friend my shadow. I ended up naming her Athena. Several months passed with no bad dreams and I thought well, maybe this has worked until around 8 months I once again had the same dream except this time when I woke up the shadow man was real and he was at my bedroom door. I know I was awake because I could see the fingers wrapping around the door frame and I finally came face to face with this thing that had been harassing me for a better part of a decade now. I was horrified. Before I could scream I just see Athena poof up and I hear her hiss. The shadow man fades away and I just feel like I have taken a breath for the first time. I couldn't sleep at night for a while and eventually I would work night shift as I mentioned in my previous stories so for a while I didn't see the shadow man. My boyfriend at the time now husband had moved in and Athena was around 2 years old at this point. My husband was in the military so he had to go to a training and was gone for a couple of days. Working kept me busy so one day around lunch I decided to head to bed so I could be rested up for work that night. About an hour of slowly drifting in and out of sleep I was jolted awake by Athena hissing and standing at the end of the bed. I looked up and I saw him the shadow man was in my room at the foot of my bed right in front of the closet. He seemed frozen in place and Athena was standing her ground. I was terrified. Like last time the figure faded away and Athena was still in guard mode. As soon as as I felt safe I pulled her close and she snuggled me and purred like nothing had happened. Now before this I had only seen the shadow man at night. This was in the middle of the afternoon while it was still daylight outside. I messaged a good friend of mine who was more qualified on these sort of things and she suggested I use salt sage and light some white candles. I have been doing this for the better part of two years now and haven't seen him since. I don't know what the shadow man is or what he wants but I do know my sweet fur baby has definitely earned her keep. I think Athena was a good name choice. If any of you have any ideas what this could be or if I should be doing anything to keep it away please let me know. For now I'm going to keep up my candles, salt and sage and make sure my fur baby is spoiled raw.